In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily the sacred mysteries, we acknowledge our sins and invoke God's mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of the Kings. This is what happened when the Lord took Elijah up to heaven in the whirlwind. Elijah and Elisha set out from Gilgal. Elijah said, Elisha, please stay here. The Lord is only sending me to the Jordan. But he replied, as the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. And they went on together. Fifty of the brotherhood of the prophets followed them, halting some distance away as the two of them stood beside the Jordan. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up, and struck the water, and the water divided to left and right, and the two of them crossed over dry shod. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Make your request. What can I do for you before I am taken from you? Elisha answered, let me inherit a double share of your spirit. Your request is a difficult one, Elijah said. If you see me while I am being taken away from you, it shall be as you ask. If not, it will not be so. Now as they walked on, talking as they went, a chariot of fire appeared and horses of fire coming between the two of them. And Elijah went up to heaven in the whirlwind. Elisha saw it and shouted, My father, my father, chariot of Israel and its chargers. Then he lost sight of him, and taking hold of his clothes, he tore them in half. He picked up the cloak of Elijah, which had fallen, and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. He took the cloak of Elijah and struck the water. Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? he cried. He struck the water, and it divided to right and left, and Elisha crossed over. The Word of the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of men. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men. You keep them safe within your tent from disputing tongues. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you saints. He guards his faithful, but the Lord will repay to the full those who act with pride. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. All who love me will keep my words, and my Father will love them, and we shall come to them. Alleluia. Alleluia, 
Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Be careful not to parade your good works before men to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your alms giving must be secret, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let men know they are fasting. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that no one will know that you are fasting except your Father who sees all that is done in secret. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. In the passage that we heard from the second book of Kings, we hear how Elijah is taken up into the heavens by the Lord himself. But it's an important moment here for Elisha, who is to take on the responsibility of Elijah. He is to be the prophet to the people of God. And this is that moment of transition, the moment in which Elijah is taken up and Elisha takes up his role. And we see in that passage that Elijah thrusts his cloak over the river and they are able to pass. Elisha, after the taking up of Elijah, is unsure, has a moment of doubt. But he takes up that cloak of Elijah and he says, O oh God, where are you? O oh God of Elijah, where are you? And he thrusts the cloak over the river and the river once again parts and he is able to cross that river and go and join some of the other prophets who were assembled the other side of the river itself. And this is a beginning, a new start this is a moment when he takes up the responsibility of being the prophet to the people. And a lot lies ahead of him, difficult trials, as well as moments when very much people listen to his voice and heed what he is saying. This is a moment of transition. And when we reflect upon our own lives, there are moments like that too. Moments when we recognize something of the importance of what we are to do something of our calling, something of our responsibility. And that is that moment of crossing the river, of thrusting the cloak over it, taking on a new responsibility and doing it with earnestness, being prepared to take on that responsibility. And in that way, we are something of a prophet. We are part of the prophetic people we continue to make presence something of the love of God, the word of God. We continue to con work, do what God is asking of us. The passage we heard from the Gospel of Matthew is one which we hear at the start of the season of Lent. But it's one that really we need to hear again and again because it speaks about how we pray. It speaks how we show charity to others. It speaks about our fasting, how we give up something that we have for the sake of others, how we show our mercy, our love and compassion to others, 
and how our lives are rooted in faith. And it's not something to be done for show. It's not something that we do that others can see. But as Jesus says, whatever is done in secret, that is what the Father will recognize. And it is for that that he will reward you. That sincerity of heart, that what we choose to do, how we live out our lives, that we do so in earnestness, ready to respond to the will of God and doing so because it is something we value. It is something that is so sacred and important to us that our prayer, our alms giving, and also our sharing with others is something we do because it is the right thing to do. It is God's will. We recognize it and we respond to God's will. Let us turn to our loving Father and in Jesus bring our prayer before him. Let us pray first for the church throughout the world, that Christians will continue through acts of mercy and charity, will continue to proclaim Christ and witness to his good news. Lord, in your mercy. We pray too for those communities that are torn apart through hatred and violence. We pray for peace, that it prevail, and those communities are able to be rebuilt and restored. Lord, in your mercy. We pray, too, for those who are sick in our hospitals and homes and those who care for them. We pray especially for the victims of the pandemic. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the community of St. George and the English martyrs in Carcroft. We pray that they continue to grow in faith and steadfastness in following the Lord Christ. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray too for ourselves that our lives may be rooted in the compassion and mercy of God, in charity and in self-offering and giving. Lord, in your mercy. And we remember our departed brothers and sisters and commend them to God's safe keeping. Lord, in your mercy. Compassionate and loving Father, hear the prayer we make with uplifted hearts in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. 
the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ralph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. At this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, which foreshadows the union of the faithful to you, may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. 